Hello, madam, and to all my fellow friends, I'm Zulaika Nadira. Today, me and my group members will present about the American Parkinson Disease Association Center. So today, our group will present introduction, answer question one, answer question two, and lastly is conclusion. So first of all, we need to identify who is our customer. There is three types of customer, which is internal customer, external customer, and consumer. If we know who is our target market or target audience, it makes easy to the company to make the chain process between customer and supplier relationship. It will create the customer segmentation. All so for the second point is customer satisfaction and engagement which means that when the customer ca satisfy with the product and service that reach the expectation and requirement especially for the first time so the engagement that the customer will be loyal toward the organization furthermore we need to understanding the customer need where the organization need to know and understand what is the customer satisfaction there is three seven key dimension of quality by David R. Garvin and also we can know whether our customer satisfied or not by using the canal model customer requirement the last point is customer focus and relationship management. There is four customer focus, organization, key process, which is customer commitment, customer contact and interaction, selecting and developing customer contact employee, complaint management and service recovery, and also managing customer relationship, strategic partnership and alliance, and customer focus technology are needed so all of this is to make sure that the, all the process in the right place and also to create the best outcome for benefit to the company so the american parkinson disease association which is a pda is a non-profit voluntary health organization which is dedicated to help Parkinson community through a comprehensive program of research, passion, education, and support. So the goal of this AFDA is to provide support and education to sufferer and individual affected by the disease throughout counseling and publication. Hello everyone, my name is Karnaliana Michael. Today I will present the case study 3.4 question 1 on what issue should the center focus in order to build relationship with its customer and supplier. Firstly, communication. Good communication can build trust and to listen attentively and embrace different point of view help patient and donor to trust the APDA center. When the patient and donor trust the center, any program or treatment can be done smoothly and successful. And positive work experience for entire organization as the patient and donor feel listened to and understood by the center, center naturally improve the service and product. And effective communication can make the center deliver a clear expectation and the objective to the customer and supplier. For example, the center uh, primary purpose is to support and educate by counseling and providing literature to the patient and individual who associated with the Parkinson disease. Secondly, understanding. Through better understanding, center can work through challenge and develop a stranger uh, relationship. To improve understanding, center need to try to understand the supplier business position. Armed with this uh, understanding, 
Center can better align their service and treatment with theirs and grow together. And to ensure everyone is on the same board or same page, the center must setting a highly visible example and hold a meeting season to roll out the new progress and principle. Third, honesty. In business relationship, there is a going to be disagreement. It is easier to manage this situation when there is an existing relationship based on honesty. When the situation can be addressed honesty, solution can be found. And the center must express their desire for honest communication soon in their supplier relationship and then keep their end of the bargain by always speaking as honesty as they can. And FEDA inform their patient and caregivers of the rationale of their therapies. And service are delivered to the customer by social medias and conduct an annual symposium to address a new topic to the donor. Thank you. Hi, my name is Claire. I would like to present about specific activities and practices related to customer satisfaction and royalty. In specific activities, you can see that it is the first one is to understand and document patient needs. It is by creating personas, persona and journey identifying patient points, documenting questions, asking and highlighting types of information that they are seeking regarding the center because they want to use the facility in the center. And then the second one is strong customer support responsiveness across channel. It is important to meet clients high expectation in an easy and open communication and also need to focus on customer centric communication to overcome Races. The third one is streamlined communication through marketing automation. This helps marketers um, to streamline target person because automation platform usually target people more on um, communication. For example, uh, social media pages. And then the fourth one is to identify brand values, uh, adhere to them and let them be known. Okay. If our service is unique, the values of our associations holds dear and represent another opportunity from competitors. Thus, it is thus encourage loyal customer and increase services. If we provide um, excellent memorable services to our customer, usually our customer will appreciate it and remember the good values that we have provided to them okay and then the the last one is the practices related to customer satisfaction and royalty here you can see there are five points this is the first point uh, make customer service a priority even on social okay the staff at the center must be friendly helpful and efficient uh, the, the support team also should be access, easy access and able to solve problem in a timely manner. The second one is uh, reward your customer. Customer always want to feel appreci appreciated and then if you're giving small gest gesture uh, like loyalty program to them uh, like giving back this, uh, giving discount, gifts exclusive of offers um, upper receiving treatment at the center it should be um, already a good favor to the patient uh, at the center and then the third one is ask for advice and listen to it okay usually feedback form should be provided and then any complaints and suggestion must must be taken and then make an effort to form an improvement from the feedback, uh, feedback from that uh, we get. And then the fourth one is the 
of for conveniences usually uh, nowadays we are uh, offering streamlined payment for faster and simpler checkout process uh, rather than the patient or customer needs to queue queue a long way at the counter just for payment so it is easy if we offer streamlined payment so that they can check out um, self-service checkout by themselves uh, and then hassle-free both for the customer and, and the service provider and then the last one is don't just ask for money okay this one even we are running as an association health center if we offer a great service the amount usually doesn't doesn't count it because a great service is much more valuable than the amount that been offered. Maybe after that, after self service, I mean, it is more like um, self service whereby uh, you can provide or show you some useful health links and then upcoming, maybe offering upcoming showcase local charity uh, from the center. To, to let your customer or clients know about the upcoming event for the for your center um, activities. That's all for my part. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Mama Shafiq Bin Idris and I would like to present to you guys about the customer loyalties and customer satisfaction in our case study, the American Parkinson Disease Associations. For my first point of the customer loyalty is offer convenience. Make life easy for the Parkinson disease. People with a Parkinson disease need to have a health insurance because they will always need to get inspections from the doctor for every month to get cured and medicines for them to relax. Health insurance not only for hospital, it is used to get any life guarantee for the serious disease such as Parkinson to get the caregivers and also health agency like the American Parkinson Disease Associations. My second point is reward customer. Rewarding to the potential Parkinson disease who always have improvement on the disease. It means that to gain their spirit and support by themselves, Parkinson disease should be given a rewards for their effort to cure their disease. For example, give a reward to the best patient in the Parkinson disease associations. And my third point is to make the relationship more than just a association. People who works and volunteer at the Parkinson disease association should be more friendly to the Parkinson disease because they will feel freely to talk about their problem and they will feel people around them are willing to support them. By this method, it tends to grow the customer loyalty in the Parkinson disease associations. For the customer satisfaction, my first point is improving their services. To gaining the customer satisfaction in the Parkinson disease associations, the workers or the volunteer in the Parkinson disease association should give a home counseling to the Parkinson's by using an internet or faster -face stations for convenient services. My second point is proactive. Be proactive to grow the satisfaction services among the Parkinson disease. The Parkinson Disease Association need to be proactive in approaching the Parkinson people. By this way, people who suffer from the Parkinson disease will not be uh, demotivated or unsupported to cure their disease. And my third point is understand them. As the association of the Parkinson disease, they need to be more understandable to be to the patients so that the patient feel everyone around them understand them and feel supported to fight their disease until it cured this will help to grow the customer satisfaction in the Parkinson disease associations in conclusion American uh, Parkinson disease uh, associations have provide uh, to the need of the Parkinson's patient and make their life a little better and easier okay this associate this association have also give the patient some hope um, on a normal life and it uh, give a normal life again and it gives them a better disposition towards their life it also improved the disease thus trickily 
The association also try hard to achieve customer satisfaction by focus on organization key process. Customer satisfaction is the main target of this organization to make sure this association can stay long and always trust by customer. Through our nationwide system of chapter and information and referral, INR centers, APDA uniquely delivers education, support, and patient service to Americans with Parkinson's and their family each day. Okay, these things need to be strong by always know the customer orientation and needed by create specific activities and practice related to customer satisfaction and loyalty and focus on what issue should the center focus in order to build relationship with its customers and suppliers so it have to make the association become better and better and growing up by royalty customer because they trust of this association so we also can conclude that parkinson foundations make life better for people with a Parkinson disease by improving improving care and advancing research toward a cure. In everything they do, they build on an energy, experience and fashion of our global Parkinson's community by always improve uh, the service with specific activities related to customer satisfaction. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you.